So recently, I've been asked a lot of questions about Minecraft on Xbox Series X. Has it been enhanced? Does it support ray tracing? Well today, I bring you a dedicated video on everything you need to know. Now if you're here for the short and simple and easy answer, the answer is no. This game has not been improved or enhanced for Xbox Series X. What I will mention, it does run better on this version. That is because the Xbox Series X is the latest generation. Now, I was quite disappointed originally. I was like, why would Minecraft and Microsoft not use this as a selling point for their next generation console? Then it come to me. They tried to do this for the Xbox One X and it did nothing but cause a lot of bad publicity. They were trying to push the Bedrock version a little bit harder than it was capable of. Now, just in case you don't remember, going back to E3 2017, Microsoft used Minecraft as a selling point for the Xbox One X console. Remember the Super Duper Graphics Pack? That was one of the selling points. They basically said if you get this new console, you're gonna get Minecraft in 4K, Super Duper Graphics Pack, new shaders, lighting effects, and so much more. A couple of years down the line, Super Duper Graphics Pack was canceled, so I feel like they learned from their mistakes. That being said, I feel like Minecraft on Xbox Series X will get an enhancement update just no time soon. I also think it will support ray tracing and we do have the evidence in today's video. But as you guys can see here in 2017, Microsoft revealed the Minecraft 4K Super Duper Graphics Pack set to bring gorgeous new visuals to the game's famed blocky art style. The Super Duper Graphics Pack includes all new shaders, lighting effects, new textures, and includes more detailed models. But as of yet, it hasn't materialized. Continuing on, it says, Microsoft was keen to emphasize that the Super Duper Graphics Pack is entirely optional. While the free update will bring 4K and HDR support to Xbox One X and Windows 10 PC versions of the game, the Super Duper Graphics Pack is an optional expansion that will change Minecraft's iconic clock to add a little modern flair. Here are some of the ways it will enhance the game. And there's a list of a couple of things that they promised us and didn't happen. Again, causing a lot of bad publicity. The final thing we have here, update August 12th, 2019. Sadly, the Minecraft Super Duper Graphics Pack has been canceled. Mojang said that they weren't happy with its performance across devices. Unfortunately, it looks like Minecraft will not get enhancements on the Bedrock Edition anytime soon, but you can pick up awesome shaders for Java Edition. So again, it was bad publicity and they're simply not making the same mistake twice. Just before we jump into some real-time Xbox Series X Minecraft gameplay, let's go back to two betas ago for the Minecraft Bedrock version. We now have ray tracing and upscaling available in the normal beta. So previously the beta for the Bedrock version was split into two. One of them was for ray tracing and RTX. As long as you had an RTX enabled graphics card, you could use ray tracing. So recently the developers have brought this to the ordinary beta. And I think this is preparation for the Minecraft Xbox Series X version. As you guys can see here, we have upscaling and ray tracing. And as you can see here, this feature is only available in ray tracing capable worlds, find one in the marketplace or create your own ray tracing capable resource pack. Now, I do not know if ray tracing can be enabled on my Minecraft Series X in beta, but we'll test it in today's video. Now, I know for a fact that it's coming to this version because here's a picture right here, which is from the YouTuber Austin Evans, which is Xbox Series X hands-on gameplay and controller. I'll leave a link down below. He is playing Minecraft Ray Tracing on the Xbox Series X, although the console that he's on is a dev kit as he explained, but you can see the official gameplay. So it is coming, it's more of a question as of when. Right, let's jump into some real-time Xbox Series X gameplay. So we're now on my Xbox Series X. I have a bunch of games installed. The latest Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, Cold War, Warzone, Gears, I have Halo, and I have Minecraft. Now, these being these ones are enhanced for Xbox Series X, which is why they have an X slash S on them. Now, ray tracing is already available in Call of Duty Cold War, and I'm gonna show you the exact setting before we jump into some ordinary gameplay of Minecraft on this console. 
So in the graphics settings for Call of Duty Cold War, scrolling down, we have ray tracing, which I have enabled, which is supported on this game. You can have it enabled or disabled. Ray tracing will increase the visual fidelity of this game. To unlock the setting, you must have ray tracing data installed in the file management screen and 120 hertz refresh rate must be disabled. So I have it, it's there. So ray tracing is supported on the Xbox Series X. This is a different game, but again, I feel like Minecraft will eventually be supported. So moving over to Minecraft on the Xbox Series X, the load up still takes quite a bit of time. It did say that in the announcement for Minecraft on the Series X that the load up would be a lot better. Um, it's been quite some time since I played Minecraft on Xbox. I was using the Xbox One X, which I moved to the Windows 10 because it was a lot easier for me to do recordings. Still seems to reload quite slow. However, whenever you load up your console, if you want to jump straight into Minecraft, it does seem to work, I guess, okay. There's still a lot of work to be done with the Bedrock version, but let's go over video settings. I'm on the latest version, which is version 1.16.40, as I'm recording this video. If I go down to video, I know I'm going to have a lot of questions about render distance. Now, render distance at this moment for this version is still set to 22 chunks. I don't know the difference between the Xbox One, Xbox One S and Xbox One X, but this can be set all the way down to six chunks or all the way up to 22. Meanwhile, on my my uh, Windows 10 version, I can have it up to 80 chunks. So I don't think they've improved that. Although I don't think render distance makes too much of a difference. Now I've only played like one or two games. I've not really jumped into too much of it. I still need to re-enable all my older Minecraft worlds, but for the sake of today's video, I'm gonna go into just an ordinary creative world and just spawn a bunch of things and just see how the game runs. Okay, so that's a pretty positive start. So you might have seen that guys, but loading in was pretty smooth on this version compared to what it's been like in the past. So it seemed to, it seemed to load in pretty fast for me. I didn't seem to have any problems. So again guys, it's not been fully enhanced, but the way this is running is the best way to explain it is that if you have an older phone, and you have a newer phone, obviously the newer phone is going to run a lot smoother. This is set to 22 chunks. I, again, I couldn't clarify at this moment what the default chunks are on the other consoles. Uh, but loading in seems to be fine. What I want to do, maybe a good way to test this could be with an Elytra. Let's try that. And some fireworks. and Just see how chunk loading is. Because chunk loading might not be great. Come on. Why can't I grab it? Give me... Give me, oh my God. Okay, it's because I have things set up. There we go, I have things set up different on this. And it's got a fireworks. And we will go to, let's just go with these. Obviously we'll check our chunk loading in. And also, let's get some mobs. Um, let's just go with a cow. Although I don't think summoning like 20 to 100 cows is gonna do much. We'll see how it is. Dude, I'm telling you now, man, I, I forgot how much I hate the menus on on the Xbox version compared to Windows 10. Uh, let's place down, let's go and find like a flattish area and place down a bunch of spawn eggs. I guess over here could be a good idea. So let's just start placing these down. So in terms of lag, I don't think cows are gonna cause too much of a problem. It's, it's too bad that we don't have an FPS counter or latency or frames dropped or something along them lines. But even on my recording software, there's not really much being dropped. And I think I would have to summon like maybe thousands of cows before it starts to cause any issues on my, my Xbox Series X. So I want to see how fast it loads in chunks. Now chunk loading seems to be very smooth and very consistent. I don't think this is necessarily Minecraft. I think it's a combination of my Series X being the latest generation of consoles. Um, because I've played... Minecraft on iOS. No, nope, there we go. There we go. There's the first slight issue, but they seem to load in. Maybe it's just jungle biomes. I don't know. But I, I played it on iOS and I've done the same thing. I played it on Windows 10 and I've tested the same thing. Chunk loading seems to be pretty smooth, which I guess is a positive sign. And that's without, hey, jungle temple. That's without any optimizations officially for this game. So it looks like the future for Minecraft Bedrock on Xbox Series X could be incredibly promising. So that's that's some pretty good news right there. There's no other way to test this rather than summoning like non-stop withers. I think I've spawned in about 10 so far. 
Can I spawn in more? Let's say, say five of these. No. That's not gonna work. Let's just stick to doing this. Because I, I, I honestly, like, that's, that's something that you gotta test. When it comes to a new console like this, it, the thing I want to do is I want to see if I can crash it with Minecraft. But I don't seem to be having any lag issues. But again, I, it's it's really hard for me to say, yeah, I am or no, I'm not. The, the button seems to be fine. I seem to be able to still fly and load in fine. And there's a good there's a good few withers around here. So in terms of lag and, and, and stuff like that, like it's, I don't think it's going to have any issues. So yeah, it does seem to perform a lot better on this on this console. So I'm gonna join the insider content, which is obviously beta. We're gonna join the beta version and see if I'm able to enable ray tracing on my Xbox Series X. Now, fun fact here, and this is something coming straight out of Microsoft for this console, the Xbox Series X is using custom designed AMD hardware for its CPU and GPU and will utilize the full power of DirectX Ultimate. So again, giving the ability to enable ray tracing. Okay, so this is the latest beta, which is version 1.16, 0 0.200, 0.55. I'm on my Xbox Series X. You can actually see it right at the top. It says beta 1.16, render dragon Xbox underscore series underscore X, Xbox Series X. Now, if I go to settings and I go down to video and we scroll all the way down to upscaling and ray tracing, is it there? It is there, but we can't seem to access it. So that's good news rather than bad news. Upscaling and ray tracing is there. I can't access it, so I can't turn it on, but it's there on Xbox Series X. So it's just the case of the developers allowing people to access this. Another method this could be, wait, 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 wait. If we go back in here again though, what's the render distance on this? Can you up the render distance on this? Uh, still 22 chunks. Still 22 chunks. I think the Series X is definitely capable of, of more than that. But if we go into Marketplace at the top, see, at the top here, it would usually say uh, RTX capable worlds. And if we go to the search option and we type in RTX, can we access it? No, there's no RTX worlds available as of me speaking, but it's coming. And I've showed you throughout today's video, in including uh, the Call of Duty Cold War, um, Ray tracing, it is coming. So this is good news rather than bad news. The whole point of today's video, will ray tracing be supported on this console? Yes, it's just not fully enhanced yet. Now, if we go into play and I click on create, we click create new and we go to, let's just say create it for the sake of this video uh, and we scroll all the way down, you'll see here guys that we have, so if I was to enable this, Caves and cliffs, that would give us goats and horns and stuff like that. So these are going to offer a little bit more to Xbox Series X. And you're probably going to say, is PlayStation going to be possible? If PlayStation can support ray tracing, then the answer will be yes. So these are going to become a little bit more important. A little bit bummed that I couldn't show you ray tracing on Xbox Series X, but it's coming. And when it does come, you will definitely see some videos from me. I hope this video has helped you understand what is going on and what is happening. If it has, please be sure to hit that like button. Have a great day, stay beautiful, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.